Hello everyone and welcome to today's pick a card reading with the theme message from my guardian angel. I haven't chosen this topic randomly because we are up for a quite emotionally shadowy and quite negatively intense period, I'm not going to lie. On the 29th of June we have a rather dark new moon in the sign of Cancer because of Dark Moon Lilith, Black Moon Lilith, sorry. So what better theme to choose than in preparation for that? I'm not saying that we are going to have something bad happen to us in that sense, but emotionally we are definitely going to be triggered. And this is where perhaps not psychology, but faith is the best armor, best defense, best cure, best everything. So that's why I would like to offer this connection to the angelic realm. So like always, we have three decks of cards. And <clears throat> if you just take a couple of seconds to make your choice. And then we are going to proceed with the first deck and let's see what some viewers, Guardian Angel, would like to advise them. So I would like to keep this reading more spiritual than practical or, you know, even predictive. Because, you know, sometimes just a bit of guidance or loving words is all that we need to basically defend ourselves from any kind of shadowy influence, regardless if it comes from within or without. So we have the Eight of Pentacles, Virk. The Four of Cups. Three of Wands reversed. And the Queen of Swords. This is pretty interesting, so just for a bit of better clarity, I need a a couple more cards or something like that. Okay, the world. <clears throat> and the seven of swords reversed. Oh, and this wanted to stick around, so seven of cups reversed. Now, this is quite a positive message because the Eight of Pentacles I'll reverse these so you guys can see as well. So, the Eight of Pentacles. This doesn't necessarily speak about just the present moment, but rather the Perhaps for some people, starting from the year 2018, when this is a journey really, a work, but a, but a work accomplished through a journey, gradually, as in like, a, almost like a karmic course of mastery, if that makes sense. Because this appears like work, and I would like to you know, say career or the work that you have done quite physically. Yet, I already said that I would like to uh, keep this reading spiritual as possible. So that's why this must have another sense. This must have a, a different nuance to it. So this actually says that whatever you have done affected your material life and your body your physical body and health and routines and perhaps detox, a lifestyle change, lifestyle upgrade perhaps, but the psychological and even more importantly the spiritual work that you have done, 
Well, that on one hand is really work in progress because you're still on it, but you know, it already bared fruit. So this is where you cannot really say that the results are yet to show because the results are the four of cups right now already if you just look back two three months four months this is where your life looks totally different you are different so whatever and this is like pure spiritual work for some people for some viewers this does have a, a slight religious connotation to it so maybe the ritual or something like that was more religiously nuanced for other people this is more like yoga based this is more like purity based for others more travel based for others more minimalist based while for others this is heavily karmic as in everything in one all possible areas of your life but even spiritually almost straight to your very core there was a cleansing work a purification work a, a, a patching up if that even makes sense because you know a lot of childhood issues a lot of childhood trauma was healed starting from the year 2018 2020 was also a very very important year and what this means is simply that you're on the path like, it's not even a matter of question if this is the right path. That's why I haven't even said you're on the right path. Just you're on the path because you know that it's the only path, actually. But, you know, you have results. So, maybe the problem is that right now you're at crossroads, but more spiritual than anything. Because this is where... What do I truly believe in? What do I truly give my energy towards? Because saying love or light or generalized stuff like that is not sufficient right now. The road is blocked. In that nuance or in that side, let's say, you still have to find your place. Because, you know, the three of wands... All doors are open, but okay, where do you really go? You still have to make a kind of choice, almost like a spiritual specialization of which path is, um, how should I say, the door opener for you really to more depths, to more profundity. And quite frankly, this might also be career included. It will heavily, heavily, heavily influence your livelihood or career or or work in others, in other uh, understandings than spiritual. So any other type of work inc that includes psychological work. So you can imagine that this is where you need a kind of spiritual security. This doesn't mean that you're choosing your path forever. This just means you need something spiritual to rely on. Now, if that's a book, if that's you know, a great philosopher, if that's an idol, if that's a religion, if that's a spiritual path, if that is something more Capricornian of nature, perhaps you shouldn't truly be intimidated by the strictness of the Capricornian side, because you only need to lean on it a little bit. It's not going to be an active part of your life. But for other people, this means people, people, actual physical people. It's in love light and everything you're on the right path you've done a lot of work you have done a lot a huge amount of work but now it's time to do something with it as in maybe allow a people in your life or decide to be a hermit or whatever but do something because you're in the air you're you're blocked but not necessarily because of universal forces not necessarily because you even see it as a blockage <clears throat> sorry maybe you don't even necessarily even are aware that it's a blockage but things that a, a big thing in your life that should be going forward it's not everything else is that's fine and that's joyful because as i said you are seeing a lot of results 
at least four areas of your life are going fast forward. But there is something still blocked. And that's the reason why it's not going, because you're not even aware that it's a blockage, and it is. And the Queen of Swords. This means that you're trying to find logic or ration where is none. This is where you don't put digging deep or ration or down-to-earth attitude, because that would be absurd. In a question of spirit or what you need to do with your energy of faith, so to speak, well, it's really the choice is yours and logic cannot help you in any way, shape, and just, this just fell out, the temperance. So again, the temperance with the Sagittarian mark, Sagittarius ultimately, confirms that it's something to do with faith, where you should aim your faith. The universe or the divine or anything can't help you with that. And some big completion is awaiting as soon as you choose something, internally even. And these two cards are just trying to say that you're not deceived. Seven of Swords reversed. Maybe you don't even have deceptive forces in your life because they're purged out. And the Seven of Cups reversed. No, this isn't a dream. What you're, Whatever it is that you're experiencing right now, maybe it's a bit surreal or maybe it's too big. As in maybe, how should I say, something bigger than you imagine manifested and now what should I do with it? Is this really happening to me? A career choice, a boyfriend, girlfriend, a lover, a friend, a spiritual L. Something happened that really is of the domain of the Queen of Swords. Yeah, this really happened. So she's, she's surrendering, she's by. So that means it's not a dream and it's not any kind of deception. So believe that something is as good as it is. And as a guidance from your guardian angel, well, the temperance, you're he in a, on a healing journey. So even if you're blocked, it's not a big deal because you still need to heal. The most important thing in your life and energy and whatever is going on in your life, regardless of what the world outside even if it's in flames or whatever, regardless of what's happening to other people, you personally are on the divine, a divine sphere where you're healing, you're being regenerated in so very many ways possible. And perhaps it is your path to healing that is the most miraculous of it. Because something is quite benevolent there, how should I say? It's almost like a clear proof of divine benevolence. So thank you so much for joining me, guys. And I do hope that this was helpful. Thank you. So hello, everyone who has chosen the second pile. As I said for the first pile, this should rather be more spiritual than anything else. So not necessarily a very practical reading, but neither predictive, but more like just the guidance. Uh-oh, this isn't the best energy for the previous pilot. It was pretty... Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, what this is to me is that... Maybe some of you guys, and I don't know, maybe whoever chose this chose wrongly this pile, but some of you guys know the Nine of Swords moment. A certain kind of anxiety, a certain kind of panic, trouble sleeping. This is where something inside of you is very, very anxious, and you might not even understand exactly why, but... Even before I get further with this reading, this just came. Um, the Schumann Resonance and the earthquake that just recently took place. You can imagine that living beings, including human beings with nervous, centralized nervous system, or how you say that, we can feel it. 
And how do we feel it as stress, as anxiety, when the earth is, as in producing its normal earth changes, but still we're, we're just too small, small little living beings, so we do feel that. So some of you guys, that's the anxiety really, the earth changes. And the sun reversed, well, for others still, it's actually a bit depressive because something to do with your source of happiness, your source of joy, you feel that your source of joy is simply fading away. This is where nothing can delight you anymore. Nothing can snap you out of it anymore. Nothing can pr provide you with a bit of nour nourishment for the soul, for the senses. Maybe your Venus is starving. <clears throat> and we also have the magician. Well, the magician says that your mental sphere is also struggling a little bit, but you need to get control. You need to get control of your thoughts. You need to get control of the situation. Even though you feel that it is very, very hard to ultimately command your being, because that's how strongly the mind is afflicted, still just try to make your thoughts as healthy as possible. Because there is the, how should I say, the panic and the distress and, of course, the unhappiness which is in the contract when you're going through this. But there is that part which is an addition, which is a bonus, the gift. And the gift is bigger than what you got bargained for. And the gift for you're the generosity, source of generosity, so to speak. Because maybe this Jupiter in Aries amplifies it for you. Helps you make your situation ten times worse than it actually is. So you really, really need to quiet down your mind. You really need to stop making it worse. Because if you stop making it worse, you can control it. You are not overpowered. But right now it seems that way. Because perhaps something to do with friendships or lover or social life or a person in your life is kind of, how should I say scaring you maybe they're too intense or maybe you just you're a bit lost and and they're too much for you even though they're they're like very positive in your life if that even makes sense but it's too life is too much for you right now because it's actually for your mind the, the anxious part so what this saying is that the problems and how you feel this through how you live this through is not as bad as it seem as it appears to you the four of cups reversed you're not disconnected you're not away from source you're not abandoned you're just lonely <laughs> and it doesn't even if you have a partner or even if you have friends maybe your soul feels lonely because you haven't shared as much as you wanted to share or you you haven't shared the the fears the anxieties your troubles, your weaknesses, what actually is troubling you right now, because other people are going through hard times as well. So that's why you feel lonely. Maybe you feel that you are the more responsible, the more stronger person. So you have to keep up a more strength act. You know, it, it's not an act because you can do it and you are strong, but that alone makes you feel lonely because you're the one saying to your husband, wife, child, whoever this lonely situation, you know, however it plays out. You're the one saying, it's going to be okay, let's trust, that's this, let's that. But that makes you feel lonely because obviously they're the recipients. Then who is going to say this back to you? The spirit, okay, the magician. Yeah, the spirit, okay, but sometimes we need to hear it from another human being you know so understand your situation because there are a lot of elements that are making it worse for you 
and these elements. Admit to yourself that you're lonely. Admit to yourself how strong you are. Listen, you can't uh, be performing an act of strength and of great, great strength and resilience and meantime, thinking to yourself that you're weak, you're pathetic, you're this and that, because that breaks reality. That's a dichotomy that breaks. Fate and karma won't play out in a normal way anymore, because you break it with this. When you're strong, and you're displaying your strength, and it's working, and you're keeping things stable, and people are telling you that, Thank you so much for being this strong for me. Well, then admit your strength. Then, yeah, you're the alpha. However you got into that position, you are still the protector of the pack right now. The pack meaning family or partner or just you and your ghosts. <laughs> but you, you, you're strong. And you're not wanting to admit your own strength. And that's why you're unhappy, really. Because your being is split apart. Your being is not in unison. Your emotion is okay. Your mind is okay. Actually, <laughs> I should be not... Because one of the elements that is a bit off is the mental sphere. Because it's exaggerating. So you maybe the mental sphere is what's misaligned here. You need to convince that as well because... Okay, it's hard, that's absolutely true, but you're doing it. That's the bad part, because you're not acknowledging that you're doing it. So you're just complaining as in not humanly, but spiritually, as even instinctually, that help me, help me, help me, give me strength, but the universe is telling you it's not strength that you should be asking, because you have a lot of it. You know, you're doing it, you're, you're living it. So you should be asking for guidance, truth, clarity, help, whatever, but not strength. But, you know, there's nothing really wrong with you. You're just thinking that you're too weak, this and that, but really you're doing fine. So it's this discrepancy that causes this, this Nine of Swords moment, the depression slash anxiety or whatever. Because, yeah, of course that should be in you right now, a bit. You should be scared, you should be, you know, on, you know, how should it, in preparation to, you know, survive, to make choices, to this and that, because life is moving on and things are happening. The king of coins, you're building something, so you need to be there, present. But this is where you're not the past self, you're not weak, you're very, very strong, so acknowledge that and that will help you turn the balance into this, the sun burning, because you do need creativity and your inner child to help you in whatever you need to advance with right now, so don't let the mind trick you, don't, your, your situation is not as bad, not as desperate, not as whatever as it seems to you, and as I said, you're doing it, you're very, very strong, not tomorrow, right now, you're already very, very strong, so expect results immediately of your own strength at least so thank you everyone and i do hope that this was helpful and until next time so hello everyone who has chosen the third and final deck <clears throat> as i said it to the previous pile um, i'll try to keep this as much spiritual as possible and less practical or predictive but this is where we should be really focusing on a little bit of guidance in what you have with your in your life right now to make sure that you're alchemizing it the right way so the moon and the seven of swords and in reversed for you guys. The hangman. Yeah, eight of coins reversed, three of, no, 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 sorry, eight of coins, three of cups, 10 of cups. 
I'll, I, I, I need a, one, at least one more, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, yeah, kind of get it now, the two of coins reversed, no, the moon reversed is fear, your emotional world, your soul, even within your dreams, perhaps, you know, that state of being or that sensation, that emotional pattern where one would say that the soul is restless within you. And it's not the classical fear because it, it's not entering the mental sphere. So you don't identify it as fear, but your soul is really, really restless of something, it feels something, it anticipates something. So the Seven of Swords, this is where, well, on one hand, for some people, it's this person who just entered my life. Who is this person? For other people, it's not a person whatsoever, it's paperwork. Should I sign the contract? Should I proceed with? acquisition or anything contractual should I sign my life away in that sense even if it's a job offer now the hangman the hangman is telling us that um, you're in a spiritual bubble so to speak because you don't want to make the wrong choice you're really really apprehensive if that even makes sense because you have a history of allowing the wrong people in making the compromises at the wrong moment and this is where it fate already demonstrated you that there is no such thing as wrong but you still perceive it as way so you are kind of trying to figure out contemplate out, solitize out any kind of interference. You really want to find your own clarity, what your heart dictates you, if that makes sense. So, because of this reason, you might be feeling a bit very, very disconnected from everything, even disconnected from your work career, which is ongoing. As in, this is where you might be a student or you might be working on a project or more projects or you might have projects planned personally or maybe you should be working but this is where working, that's not blocked off. So it's physically possible. For some people, this is just time to make good use of their mastery skills, talents, this and that. Because there are opportunities around you. This is where the opportunity does not have to knock on the door. Rather vice versa. Because you know you can do it just like that. Whatever this is for. And I, I said that this is going to be more spiritual. I know. Yet still. Spirit manifests the matter. And right now for you it's a material theme. Three of Cups, Ten of Cups. Now this to me says that there is a big karmic completion also playing out in your life. People have to enter your life and they are coming like it or not. Connections are being made. And this is where it's almost by total coincidence. It, for some people this even includes meeting that XYZ connection person on the street by sheer coincidence without internet without having planned it without anything and i'm not necessarily talking about love as in brotherly sisterly kind of love yes absolutely but i'm speaking about any connections that you need that whatever special is that you were looking for and needed in your life it just turns up people keep entering into your life and you cannot block it out or stop it anymore so there's karmic completions 
you know, how should I say, completing, <laughs> karming completions taking place in your life. But the two of coins reversed is too much for you. It's destabilizing you. You cannot work. You cannot concentrate. You're in doubt. You're, you're in fear because you feel that a lot of souls are entering your life. And the difference between the past and now is quite simpler than you think. Before, it wasn't really the soul who entered your life. It was more the ego who dragged the soul with it. Now it's souls are friends. For others, yes, absolutely the lover. For others, still the muse, the friend, the collaborator, the boss, the whatever, yes. But all of these are votary. So three of cups means divinely allowed. So you are allowed to manifest each other by need, by, you know, the divine allows connections to take place because you, you know, exchange inspiration, exchange faith, exchange energies, exchange anything. And Ten of Cups is, this is meant for the long-term future. So what happens now immediately this year, two years from now, is not the big deal. What happens after 10 years in these connections, that's what matters. Because this is how families are born, history is written, healing takes place, communities, villages are born. So the good stuff. So yes, you are scared and it's destabilizing your work and money. And you're saying, I, well, you know, isn't there a financial crisis knocking at the door? big time for everyone on the planet right now and I can't work because my soul is restless so am I doomed right now or and perhaps not I said I'm not making this predictive but I do believe that you'll you'll be helped as in people are gonna help you like it or not so basically that's what it says and when you feel it with your soul that means you feel the other person's soul. So it's really, there is divine work at play here. It's not just the ego and let's manifest someone out of sheer need. It really comes with the love. You know, the love is what matters. So thank you everyone. Thank you Pal3 Pal and thank you everyone. And I do hope this helped you. Wishing everyone a nice weekend and thank you again for all the love and support.